And welcome to TTB Gel Blasters, Pepper Mum. Here with Thomas from the Vector team. Hey, Tom. Hello. Hey, we're going to do an unboxing of a, a brand new blaster that we just got uh, donated to us by the Gorillas. So we're out here at Gorillas Logan Home. And what have we got, Tom? The HK UMP. HK UMP in the box. So, hey, let's jump straight into it, open up this bad boy, and see what we got. Okay, so we've got the HK UMP new gel blaster. Uh, first time we've actually unboxed this gel blaster here on TTV. So, jump in, let's have a look. Oh, gee, let's look at that. Hey, straight out of the box, I love the look of this blaster. And let's just feel it. Yep, that's definitely nylon all the way through. So go up close, uh, you see you've got your actual control for uh, your safety and your single fire. I don't know if it does burst because inside one of these babies is a Gen 8 gearbox. So I don't think it actually has burst mode. Most likely it's going to have your uh, off and your, uh, your single spray button on there as well. But feel wise, that feels really nice and tough and strong. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, you got your butt socket in the back, so that's going to be an easy one. You literally got to put a pin through for it to click on. What I'm liking the look of, it looks like you'll be able to fold it up close. So you can use it within close combat and then fold it out if you're going to be using it on a bigger field. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, mag wise, standard mag for one of these bad babies. You literally open it up and fill it up as well. Uh, at the end of the day, when you go and empty your gels out, you've got a quick release there. Uh, it releases the spring and the actual uh, hook on the inside so you can get all those gels out of the actual mag. So that's pretty good. Uh, standard battery, we all know that they're rubbish. Get yourself a better quality battery, but it does the job for now. Uh, and going by the wires, that's a two cell battery. Definitely not 1,400 milliamps. We know that for a fact. More likely to be a 300 milliamp battery inside there. Traditional USB cell to uh, charger. USB plug and play and away you go. Uh, what's inside the actual little containers? Okay, so you got your rails and geez, you got a lot. Look how many of them. So you're gonna have enough to put all your lights, all your strodes, all your uh, lasers on site there. Uh, you've got your little tool kit with all your Allen keys and all that to put them all on as well. Uh, there's the actual um, part that goes into your butt. <laughs> and then uh, your little red tip as well for the front, so um, your safety, you know what you know what you know. So there you have it, out of the box. Pretty good little UMP, they're made to be tough, they're made to be strong. The fact that it supports a Gen 8 gearbox means it's fully upgradable. So guys, just so you know, the battery goes at the back here. Just open that little latch. The battery goes in there. Just clip that back on. And the long screw that you get with the set, uh, there's this kind of arch kind of piece. Yeah. Put the screw through there, put the penetrating rail on top of it and screw it in. So literally same as everything else, uh, you got to pull it from the top, uh, wires on the inside, pull the wire through. What's really good is I can actually see the gearbox inside there. And that gearbox is definitely a nylon gearbox. So inside the actual unit is a proper nylon gearbox. And uh, we looked it up, it does have nylon gears as well. So good quality build. So yeah, so you put your battery into there. So really, really simple. Grab your battery. Hope it's got a bit of charge in the battery that came inside the box. Chuck it back in. Close it up. Yeah, that sounds good. The other thing I saw is that this part here actually goes up and it opens the little window that's there on the side. So you can see the window actually opens up so you can see inside as well, uh, which shows me that the T-piece inside is also nylon quality yeah, inside the actual unit, which is really good as well. So there you go. UMP, fully locked and loaded, good to go. <laughs> Sounds pretty good straight out of the box. Running on a two CR battery, keep that in mind. And um, what we're gonna do is chuck some gels into it, chuck it on the Kronos, and see what we can actually get out of this bad little boy. Okay, so Tom's got the UMP. Uh, it's got the stock standard two cell battery in the inside. We haven't modified anything at all. And we're gonna chuck it through the Kronos and see what we get. So go for it, Tom. So 
So that's pretty good. It's uh, literally clocking at a uh, 2.32. Minimum 2.25, maximum 2.36. Average at 2.32. Uh, so yeah, not too bad, not too bad. What do you reckon, Tom? Uh, strong glasser. Yeah. Definitely good for fishing here. Yep. Uh, so just on that, uh, close combat, awesome, awesome gun for close combat, and that's the reason why we're out here at Gorillas. Uh, if you're gonna be playing out here, uh, the fact that you can take the uh, the buckstock and, and actually put it in, makes it really, really, really good for that close combat. Yeah. I'm loving the gun, I'm loving the build, I'm loving the quality of it. So um, yeah, get your hands on one of these bad boys, the uh, HK UMP. Uh, to me, it's a really nice gun. What we're going to do is that we're going to jump straight into our tech bay and uh, upgrade it, chuck an O-ring, chuck a spring into it, chuck a 3 cell into it, and then we're going to chronos it again and see what the difference would be if you did upgrade one of these bad boys. Okay, see you soon. Join us next time where we'll jump inside our tech bay and upgrade this baby with a new O-ring and new spring. That way you can see this blaster all open up. Hey, if you like the video, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And thank you very much for watching the video.